later on whether it could actually win this year. We shall not know for real, but we will find out first we start tomorrow. Now, uh, uh, hats off to Aintree actually, I just spotted this, they've donated 10,000 tickets for next year's Grand National Festival to NHS staff and carers on Merseyside, well done to them, we can still all have a flutter tomorrow Jonathan, it's a £10 max bet isn't it per horse, or £10 each way, and all the proceeds, all the profits from it will go to NHS charities. Absolutely, hats off to the bookmakers this year, they knew it would be an own goal obviously to try and make any profit out of this, and they are going to make a staggering loss. Probably about £300 million pounds gets bet on the Grand National in most years, and obviously that uh, will not be going into the horse racing and betting communities. That is, as you say, going into the NHS. Everybody can have a bet on the Grand National, the virtual Grand National tomorrow. As you say, there's going to be a limit of £10. Pounds. You can bet £10 pounds on the winner, £10 pounds each way. But whatever happens, all the profits are going to go to the NHS charities. And uh, I think that's a, a, a fantastic thing in terms of, obviously, what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it as real as possible. They're trying to galvanise the population that would have all, you know, everybody that's interested uh, in terms of this. It, it's not normal punters. It's, it's everybody gets an interest in the Grand National. And I think they're just trying to galvanise it with the mood of the nation, knowing that it's something that everybody can get behind. And they know that it's going to go to a good cause. No better cause at this moment in time than the NHS. And the bookmakers, to their credit, have recognised that. And uh, yeah, so if anybody is having a thought, I've noticed a lot of charities as well trying to get involved with the sweepstake thing. It's a good cause, good way to galvanise people. And maybe it's something that people can do with you know, FaceTime and all these other things that people are trying to do to connect with each other online. A way to try and do kind of virtual sweepstakes and build it around the event. Um, it's all about building community at this time, I think, in terms of getting the, the money towards charity. It can only be a good thing. Uh, sports your game, Jonathan. I'm just thinking about, you know, FIFA on PlayStation and the tennis games as well, um, on uh, Wii Fit and things like that. Is this maybe the way ahead? Do you think we might see a virtual Wimbledon this year? Well, I think the way things are headed, Stephen, I think uh, we're all going to be replaced by artificial intelligence at some point in the future by the sounds of things. But um, uh, perhaps, I think the thing with virtual horse racing is that it has been a thing for a while. You know, it's about 25% of betting goes on to kind of virtual horse racing at the moment. It's not as sophisticated as this uh, virtual Grand National, but it does happen. It's kind of almost a roulette version that they have in betting shops. Um, not something I'm completely okay with, but it does have a little bit of history since the turn of the millennium. Um, Are, are sending the head 